Hey Vikes, I'm Lexi and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Jessica went and learned about lunches. Let's go check it out. We've noticed that not many students have been taking advantage of the free meals. We decided to go check it out. Uh, I think a lot of students don't know they the breakfast and the lunch is free, so a lot of them don't know that breakfast is free. A little slow on the breakfast. On lunch, it's doing pretty good. Everyone in the United States, all the kids eat free because I think of the funding, the lunch food, they have enough money in the program to have free lunches. First breakfast is at 7.30 to 8, and then the second breakfast is uh, 9.20 to 9.25. Lunches and breakfast are free until January 1st. Um, we have good food here. We have a assortment of salad and fruit, and, and uh, hopefully by the end of this month, we'll be able to get more variety of stuff for lunch. But if they go down to the west end, they could have peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, ham and, ch ham and turkey sandwiches, hummus with some crackers or chips, cheese. They have lost assortment down there, so if they want to try that down there, they can. Make sure to take advantage of those meals. Now for your announcements. Anyone interested in wrestling needs to sign up and pick up the information packet in C3. Programs are available to buy this week and next week during lunch. Make sure to buy them. Viking Brew is still doing their promotion. Enter your name every time you buy a 20 ounce drink. The winner will be announced on October 31st. ACD prep class has been rescheduled for online. Check Schoology for more information. Freshmen, if you need transportation from ASAP, you need to sign up in the office no later than 1.15 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Madison and Aaron went and got students' thoughts. Let's go check that out. Let's see how students feel about coming back to school full time. I have mixed feelings about it because I feel like if we go back, then someone's going to get the coronavirus and then we're going to have to quarantine for about a week and then we're going to have to start the whole process back over. But then I also feel like that we could do it because I think our staff is going to be good about it. I think I would like to go to school full time. I would be okay with that. However, I think it's unrealistic um, due to us not being able to properly social distance. And there's a lot of people that aren't quite comfortable with it yet. So I think it's probably best that we wait. Social distancing is important to stopping the spread of COVID-19. I think that we could be able to social distance in like smaller classrooms. Um, but like not in the halls because it gets very crowded. Uh, probably not effectively because right now with mm -hmm. the school split, we're having a difficult time social distancing. Yeah. And so I think it would be even more difficult with the whole school combined, especially with class sizes. On September 28, 2020, Stevens School Board had a meeting to discuss a plan about opening school back up full time. I will feel safe because I think the district is doing a good job on keeping everybody safe and healthy. I will feel safe. Um, I think that I'm at the point where I, I'm ready to go back, but I know a lot of people don't feel safe going back, and so I think it's important that we account for them. Make sure to pay attention to Schoology and the Seaman website regarding any schedule changes. Now for sports. Congratulations to girls golf at the regional tournament yesterday and for Molly McLaughlin meddling in the top 10 and for her and Aspen Burgart going to state next week. Congratulations, Vikes. Now over to weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are going to be having a couple warm up spurts throughout these next couple of weeks. As you can see, for today's temperatures at 3 o'clock this afternoon, our temperatures are almost up into the 80s. And this is just one example of a warm-up that we are expecting. For your SVTV 7-day forecast, as you can see, Wednesday we are seeing our, our temperatures warm up drastically up into the 80s, even possibly touching the 90s. 
Then Wednesday night we will cool back down and go back to the 60s, 50s area. And then Saturday we will have one more warm up which will only be about the 70s and then our temperatures will drop completely back down into the 50s and 60s. Now back to your anchors. Thanks Zoe. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Enjoy the rest of your day.